I now have the distinct honour of introducing this year's valedictorian. Christine McDonald was nominated this year, this year for the Cumberland valedictor as Cumberland valedictorian and was chosen to represent the 2018 class. Christine is graduating from her early childhood education program. And if I could please welcome Christine to the stage. Distinguished guests, faculty members, staff, family, friends, and fellow graduates. I come from Cape Breton, and I also come from a long line of storytellers, none of whom who have mastered the art of brevity. And while I do not wish to lie to you and say that I'll keep it brief, I do assure you that this has been tailored down. Though my competition for this position was fierce, well-spoken, and brilliant, I was fortunate enough to be asked to speak on our behalf about how I feel my experience at NSCC has better prepared me for my future. I could talk about building my massive portfolio, acquiring skills that pertain to my chosen field of expertise, or any other points that may or may not resonate with everyone else in attendance. So instead, I want to talk about the kindness that I have encountered here, because my experience at NSCC has shaped me into being a kinder person. While I am originally from Nova Scotia, I most recently have lived in Toronto. There, you are only kind and personable to your friends, mainly for safety reasons. <laughs> here, though, that is either not the case or everyone on campus has considered you a friend. It doesn't matter if it's Caleb at his post greeting you in the morning, right? <laughs> or Annette and Wallace in the cafeteria who are trying to find you something to eat. <laughs> it could be Heather taking a moment to talk to you when she's cleaning the hallways and comes across you. And the teachers, whether they teach your course or not, meeting you in the hallway and saying hello, and also your classmates who gather in the morning before class to talk and to vent, <laughs> and also our children at the child care center who eagerly wave to the classes on the bottom floor as they walk to and from their playground. It seems that everyone on campus has made it their daily goal to do or to say something kind. No matter how small the gesture, it always made you feel like you were valued, that people were glad to see you, that you were a part of our school's community. When you do move into a new community, there's always a concern that you won't find your place in it, especially in a small, tight-knit community like here. There's a worry that you won't fit in and you'll be an outsider. Perhaps your class will be filled with people who grew up together and that they have already formed a friendship, one which you cannot be accommodated in. But thankfully, that was not the case. Myself and my others I knew who were from away were greeted and taken in as if we had always been part of this town's makeup. The kindness I encountered here started even before I arrived. In the months before I moved, even prior to my campus tour, I was phoned by my teacher, Wendy Siddle. She knew that I was moving from several provinces over, and she wanted to make sure that I knew at least one person in town. And if I didn't know someone, she was going to be that person. She did not want me to feel as though I was coming into a community of strangers. And I never properly thanked her enough for that. So Wendy, thank you. I truly appreciate it. It, it made me feel welcomed and it made me feel tethered and that big life change was truly less daunting. My class was one of the many classes that was taught by Julian. So we have the Love Act posted on our wall. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with it, it's an agreed upon set of rules that guide how we should treat one another. It's built on kindness, forgiveness, unconditional respect, humility, empathy, and many other virtues. 
It's the adage of, you don't have to like everyone, but you do need to love everyone. However, after a couple of weeks, the pages of the Love Act blend in with the rest of the classroom. It becomes a fixture on the wall, and we need to be reminded and prompted. We need to remind ourselves that everyone deserves to be treated fairly, equally, and with compassion. That everyone around us may have challenges that affect their day-to-day -day lives and their behavior, and that we should not penalize them for it. Our world today is full of negativity, fear, anger, and there are a lot of things outside of our control. And while we cannot change how other people think and behave, we can change ourselves. In childcare, we have the task of teaching children skills that are meant to help carry them throughout life. One of those skills is how to be a friend to one another. We teach them how to exhibit compassion, understanding, empathy, and kindness. These most basic skills are those that we often forget in our world today. It takes only seconds to be kind, and it can be as simple as saying good morning to someone as you pass them by. And that is what I really hope everyone walks away with from their experience at NSCC, is how to be kind. I could encourage you to be successful, to leave your march, to reach for the stars. But in the grand scheme of things, none of that matters if you are a cold person to be around. The phrase, your deeds are your monuments, have resurfaced a number of times throughout history. Its meaning being that what you do, whether it's good or bad, is what people will remember and what people will share about you. So let those deeds be good deeds. Let those deeds be comforting, be nurturing, compassionate. Let someone lean on you for strength. Give them a hug or a sympathetic ear or just plain old don't give them a hard time. <laughs> Say thank you, acknowledge a, the other person. We as a unit are branching out into all walks of life. We're going out as graduates, early childhood educators, nurses, paralegal, business administrators, carpenters, electricians, physiotherapists, utility line workers, refrigeration specialists, care workers, and into the vast expanse of social services. We are going to spread far and wide, and we will be able to impact our province in such a positive manner. So be kind, be a friend, and it will change how others around you behave, and slowly it will change our world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christine, for your heartfelt words, something that she directed directly to the class of 2018, but I think we can all benefit from. Can I now call upon our, call upon our principal, Andy Moore, to present the valedictorian award? <laughs> 